Hello, and welcome back to La Milana 2 with Brian. We are in the Immortal Battlefield. I'm in a place called the Sealed Aqueduct, and I was just rereading this. There are two sigils that are hidden by falling water. Check the back of the three-eyed waterfall. Um, so it occurred to me, like, I was coming into this room, and right below me here, it almost looks like there could be a sigil that's hidden by the water. And it says the back of the three-eyed waterfall. I think the waterfall, for the most part, uh, is actually... If I go back to here... Like, this is the big waterfall on the left. Three-eyed waterfall makes me think that somewhere there's like a room with like three eyes of retribution or something. The thing I was seeing below me might just be the thing that's on the background wall here behind Mulbrek's tent. But let me look around and see if I see... Hmm. There's a thing below me right there that also looks like it could be three eyes. What did it say? Check the back of the three-eyed waterfall? The back. Like... Hmm. Does it mean... I think we're going to spend a bit of time in this area today, by the way. <laughs> it's just my intuition. I think there's still a lot to explore here. Oops! Okay, I fell down there. Which is not what I intended to do. Uh, the hot spring is over there, and I think I pay a toll to go get it. If I remember correctly. Let's actually try that out. I just want to remember. 30 gold. I have 829, sure. And so this hot spring gives me extra... How much extra? Looks like probably another... Um, oh! I forgot about falling there, though. Gosh darn it. <laughs> and then I need a sigil that I don't have yet over on the left of this room. But let me... Okay, here's another question that I wanted to know. Which is... If I teleport back here, do I still have all my health? And can I save with all that health? I do have the extra health. And if I save... Let's start saving this spot today. I wonder if when I restore that save, I'll also have all the health. So the thing I want to try... Is, can I go here? Doesn't seem like it. I was thinking that might be the back of the Three-Eyed Waterfall. Let me try going back up to the top of this and see if I see anything else. <laughs> the alert app when I'm in front of the curry that we first found when we saw our dads the first time um, says, caution, <laughs> curry stank. <laughs> um, all right, Ooh, the smell of delicious curry. Oh, there is a little... Uh, thingy on the ground at the bottom left that I'm going to go get. So if I swim down here, I can get this. Oops, darn it. There we go. Cetus acquired. Uh, can I just read that while I'm underwater? Sure. Sea monster, third children chimera experiments. So I think that was the boss that we defeated in this area, the kind of like first get in here. Okay. And... Can I go down here? Yes. Okay. So that's the best look at what I think is the three-eyed waterfall. Uh, well, this could be three-eyed waterfall, because there's two face statues, and one of them's broken, so there's only three eyes here. So it might be the case that the sigil here... And also, actually, kind of... Oops. I was going to try to point something out, and I screwed up. There was something else that looked like it could be three eyes. Which is, at the very top, above the chest. Uh, there's kind of like three, maybe, eye-looking things in the background. So... Okay, I can't go there. Oops, this guy's going to see me. Ah, darn it. <laughs> Basically, I wonder if I can... Ah, darn it. Uh, what is the right way to do this? I guess wait for a moment. Then come here. Ah, darn it. Okay, there we go. Okay. So my question is, can I jump against this guy? 
Okay, it's just a wall. Sometimes you can kind of go through background walls. And then over on the right... Actually, is there anything here? This could be the back of the three eyes. Or it could be from one screen up. And then also from here... Oops, darn it. Uh, oops, darn it. <laughs> Everything is falling traps. I basically just want to try to push against the back of the three eyes um, in a couple of spots. I'll do it on my own time. If I find anything, you'll see it. Oh, hey! Uh, okay, so I didn't find anything the other place. Immortal Battlefield? I just jumped up and I broke the thing above me over here. And that is a sigil that I could open. So that is definitely something that I had not yet found. So I need to go up and right and fall down with air control to get there. Here we go. So what is this going to do? Neat. This might get me to a room that I've never been to before. I'm going to go ahead and save with that progress and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back in this room. In a place I haven't been before. I saw that just in time. So it seems like there was time for me to walk to the right, and so I might try that at some point. However, let's go up here. Okay, there's the Nine Guardian thing. There's another sigil that I have. And can I jump up here, though? Yes. I see, and it opens a shortcut over here. Okay, so I think that's just a shortcut. And we have not been all the way through this room before, I don't think. So that's the boat that I think I'm eventually going to take across the Ancient Chaos area or something, maybe? And then this portion of the room I think we have been to before. Ooh! New message! Uh, we haven't gotten a message in a while. This is not how you open it. Here we go. Oh, it's Molbrek! It's me, I'm checking out of the... I'm checking out the Immortal Battlefield. It's super big and a total maze. The walls in the back are divided red and blue areas. Can't air enter the blue area yet. There might be a gate somewhere that leads there. A lot of paths are closed off by mechanisms, so try walking around as much as possible to get the best way to progress. And then, I wonder if I was supposed to get that one earlier. Um, and then... I've come down to the very bottom. There's a lava. It's super hot down there, but there's a path that leads further down past the lava. It looks like you'll have to take it to a different area altogether. If you're fine with lava, it should be traversable. And we've already done that for certain. Because um, if I go out the bottom of the Immortal Battlefield uh, after I got the uh, lava thingy, like we had to do a puzzle with lava that took me a long time to figure out, that went down to Icefire Treetops. So... So yeah, I think maybe those are not immediately helpful clues. And let's see, remind me what's over here. I see, this just circles back around to here. Okay, well that's more progress that I'm gonna save and I'm gonna keep looking around. I'm curious to know now if I visit Mulbrek's tent. Is she back or is she still investigating the IB? I see. She's back and taking a nap. I wonder what this is. This little cheese puff looking guy walking around under the tent. You'd think it'd be yummy. Okay, so I guess that's talking about the enemy that I always kill when I want to test how much uh, damage my various weapons do. Uh, the little guy right below me, right over there, walking on the ceiling. Um, okay, I'm going to keep looking around. Okay, so back in this room, I never tried going further to the right. So first, we'll just see if I can, like, run underneath this thing. Well, not run. But do that. And this might get me over to where my dad's is. Let's see. Those who possess Mjolnir can harness storms. Lightning that strikes them will be theirs to wield, but be wary for the body can only absorb so much. Interesting. So it sounds like Mjolnir, Thor's hammer, might let us harness lightning, but damage us? Have I been here before? I feel like I might have been here before, and I don't know how I would have gotten here. Oh, new message. 
What a big mural, wow. There was something like this in La Mulana too. There was a guardian sealed in there. It looks like some sort of vehicle. What's it holding in its right hand? A controller? Maybe a key for working the vehicle. Interesting. Okay, so I might have to scan this. Let's try my scanner app. Uh, snapshots, I think it's called. So let me just uninstall this really quick and install this. And then let's see if I can scan it. All right. So yeah, I don't need to scan that. So let's uninstall snapshots and install this again. And from here, some kind of controller holding in its right hand. It looks like a, a lock, unless it's its right hand somewhere else. I'm not sure exactly how to look at the thing in the background of this room. There is a chest that I don't know how to open. Well, <laughs> almost certainly I need to put a, well, hmm. Maybe I can do something like this. Mm -hmm. Have I been here? Yes. Let me go poke around in that room a little bit more. Okay, I tried pressing against this wall. What if I try hitting it with a whip? Doesn't seem like anything there could be hit by the whip. I wonder if I could like walk through the wall maybe? Yeah, let me go try that really quick. So my question is, can I walk through here or break this wall? Doesn't seem like it. Hmm. What else could I do in this room? Obviously, I could try to fight that guy. I can try scanning this. Okay, Archaeological Dictionary. Mechanical God. There is a striking resemblance to the... Oh, Mechanical God. Maybe this is going to come to life when I get the cog. Human riding a dragon-shaped machine. Jormungan seal. Who I think was something with the underworld, maybe? And we don't know how to open this yet. But yeah, this might come to life if I ever get machines working, maybe? Alright, and... I don't think killing that thing above me is necessarily going to help activate anything in this room. And over here... I don't immediately remember this room. That looks like a prophecy tablet. Do I have that on my map? I do have it on my map, however I don't know which number it is, and I think there's a different way to get there. So let me go try to check out this prophecy tablet, which is down and left from the hot spring. Hmm, I can't get there from this side, and I can't get there from the top because it's a ladder that only goes up and not back down. So, I think the only way to get to the Prophecy Tablet is back from the room I was just in. Oh, and this! Oh, interesting. This is called Jormungan's Room. Hmm. Okay, is there any other clever way that I could get over there on the top right? I really can't come up with anything. And it's going to be hard to deal enough damage to that guy, but I do have a bunch of Earth Spears. I'll at least try it, just in case killing the enemies in this room is key. Because uh, I think... Oops. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, I want to select this weapon. I know which button I use. Can I... Okay, I can't throw high enough to get you there. So I would only be able to hit this guy from over here, I believe. And if I do... Oh, even then, it's going to be extremely tough. Do I have any other weapon that I could hit him with? I don't think so. So I think I'd have to go... Ah, darn it. Ah! I don't think I can hit him. Oh! Uh, it doesn't look like the Earth Spear worked there. And I could throw Caltrops off the edge, actually. Hold on. Let me try one other thing. Okay, so Caltrops we hardly ever use, but I can go... Oops. There we go. Okay. 
So, good news, bad news. The good news is, I did manage to kill that guy. The bad news is, it does not appear to have opened or affected the chest at all. So I probably do have to get up there, and... Yeah, I just don't know how to do that. So probably activate something else in this room later that causes this to turn into a boss or something, and you fight the boss, and then it opens, or... I don't know, maybe. So over here on the map is the Pit of Time. And then somewhere above it is something interesting. I don't remember what. This is also the Pit of Time, so it's a very big pit. <laughs> it's the pits! Alright, let's kill this little guy. We've got the shortcut opened in this room. And from here, I have to kind of go around and around in order to get to the next spot. Oh, there's another waterfall here. Could the sigil hidden by the waterfall somehow be over here? Maybe? I hadn't really thought about this. Oops, hey. And what is that thing right below me? I'm not sure. But is this the room that had... Yeah, this is where a cog would go. Remind me what this says. And did we already fight Ratatoskr in here? Catalyze the stoppered flow of time at the pit of time. An ancient machine will duly deliver you to the altar of time. And does something happen in here? Gear-shaped hollow in the machine-like object. There's no eyes of retribution. There's kind of some symbols on the bottom, but I don't think they mean anything. I think it's all just kind of decorative. And I don't see anything else happening in here right now. So eventually we're going to get some kind of cog that I think is going to activate machines. We haven't been here in a long time. I don't know that I need to come back here. This is when we first came to the Immortal Battlefield. This area at the top left was all we could get to. Um, and I don't remember exactly. We got something important over here. I can't remember exactly what right now. I think it was in this room, maybe? Yeah, in that chest. There was something great. Uh, I see the thing that's going to fall there, because I'm better at seeing that now. And I'm not sure what that guy died to over there. Um, yes, I don't think there's anything else to do over on this end. Oh, here's more clues. Two sigils lie hidden within flowing water. One seals the ship of life. And there's a picture. I forgot to look if there was a picture in the other one. That's the one I just opened. Yeah, okay. And it shows you where to find that hidden place that I had to break open for the sigil. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now I understand that. Um, so I need to go back, possibly, and look at the pictures with the hints in some places. Ouch. I'll continue to explore around. Yeah, as with a lot of puzzles, it's often the case that the hints only make sense after you solve them. But then that helps you understand future hints. In the very first screen, when you come to the Immortal Battlefield, this picture at the bottom right seems to be a map of the area. I can see the ship in the middle. Um, there's one of the water monsters. There's some kind of rooms at the bottom right, which... I can't quite get to yet. Um, at the top right... I have something about graves... Written on my map. Um... Yeah, at the bottom left... Well, at the bottom, there's that thing we used to get across the lava, the thing with the four spokes on the wheel that kind of walked across the lava. There's probably more ways to interpret this picture. There might be, like, my dad's camping tent in the middle. Yeah... Hmm... And it looks like at the top left, there was, like, a side passage... To go to, yeah, the Roots of Yggdrasil, I think, is what that thing coming off the left of the big ring is, maybe, supposed to represent. 
So I'm just rereading old tablets, and this one talks about the Gates of the Dead. And basically at the top right, I found a secret entrance that's kind of pictured here to the room that leads to the Gates of the Dead. So that's just a hint of how to get over there. Here's a place where we can get a fairy here in the Immortal Battlefield. But I'm not sure that it's particularly useful. I mean, it's a healing fairy, and so it'll heal us for a bit. And we went through something over there already. And this is where I needed to run with the Gale Fibula for some reason. But I don't remember right off the top of my head, but let's do it again. And then once we were here, I guess we activated something. I don't really remember what, but I think we already did whatever we needed to do in this room. Yeah, so I might need to enter the bottom left area then. Okay, so here, below the fairies, is the room with my dad's tent. And then the squishy bit below, even with the Gale Fibula, it didn't seem like I could get through. I guess I'll go try that again, because I'm not sure what else to do right now. Other than the dead bodies, is there anything that's giving me a hint here? I don't think so. But I can get a running start from the next room, so let's try it. It seems like it might be pressure plates, actually, on the floor. And so maybe if I jump over the first pressure plates, it'll take longer to activate. Let me try that. Okay, so the idea is we're going to jump over the first... I did not jump over the first one, so I need to try that again. I could see the pressure plate went down. Okay, so let's try this again. Jump! Ah, I did it! I did it! Ha ha! I saw that it was the pressure plates activating it, and now I'll be able to do this. Which might just be a shortcut. Um, but the shortcut is still good. Okay, there is a thing shooting arrows at me here, because it's mean. Oh! This looks like it's breakable. Or am I just seeing the particles from me hitting the... Yeah, just from me hitting the pot. Okay. Okay, well, we unlocked another shortcut. Um, that's nice. Hmm. Still need to figure out more things to do. But we're making progress. Alright, and as a reminder, if we go through the top right of the roots of Yggdrasil, we end up on the left side of the Immortal Battlefield. And so these are some rooms we only briefly got a chance to check out. And... Right, that guy's just mean. What did this say? Yeah, don't know. There's a thing that looks like an Onkjul there that just shoots me and insta-kills me. I think... Oops. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, I managed to avoid the insta-kills somehow. And that thing makes an awful noise. I'm getting out of this room. Right. Pit to Heaven is over here. And I've been in both sides of this room. And I don't remember offhand what this tablet said. So let's see. Darn it. Okay. If I can read it again. Because I would like to reread it. And see if any... Three Guardian Door. Was that lit up? Can I open that Three Guardian Door? Oh, I can jump up here, too. Fascinating. Oh! <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, didn't make it. Okay, made it here. Gate for the spiral boat. Nine seals. Yeah, so we may or may not have done that already. Okay, so if I go down to the three guardian door... Um, I already activated the crazy thing over here. It looks almost like, um... 
I don't remember, like, do they just automatically open when you defeat another guardian? I can't remember. Yeah, I guess they always had kind of glowing blue associated with them. I was trying to see if that was changed since the last time I saw it. Here's the pit of lava that you go across on this four-spoke thing that we saw the picture of in the first room. And I guess I'll go back through here just because I'm not sure. Oops, well, now I'm just going to die. <sighs> not sure what I'm doing right now. I'm still missing something in that area, and I'm not sure what the something is. But we did manage to solve a number of mysteries. Uh, here's another thing I want to check. Two rooms to the below me. I think this is like a symbol for a time altar. And so I just want to go check. Uh, and see if what I think is the symbol on the map is actually the symbol. So let's hop down here. And spend a wait to go over here, I suppose. Yeah, so there's an altar of time right there, and I think the tablet actually talks about it, I think. So let me see if I can get over and read that tablet that's just to the left, because I think it's going to tell me something about time that's probably related to the pit of time and things that we see over there, that eventually I'm going to have to do something. There's a lamp of time, I think is what it's called. And then I think maybe I would be able to use that to light these things up. Because this is a candle stand adorned with the Wheel of Time pattern. Grant powers to those who are worthy of stopping time. Light will be dispelled on you if you prove the power worthy of it. Of light. And then I'm also curious, I have an app that is the Race Scanner. So if I turn off Alert, because it doesn't seem too useful, and turn on Race Scanner, I think when I read this, it tells me these are the six children of Alfir who wrote this tablet. Light will be displayed on you. I wonder if I should go back to uh, the fairy man who first told me about the fairies, who had like a brother and a sister or something. I kind of remember what the map looks like, but I don't remember what area that was in. So in any case, the map icon here with the circle with the blue light is like the time lapse, I think, and we've seen them in a couple of places in the Immortal Battlefield as well. Let me go try to visit the fairy guy once more if I can remember where he lives. So Anwithin is the fairy watchtower here, somewhere down and to the left. I have marked on my own map as Frey. And so it would be like somewhere over here. Except for I don't see how to get to the room to the left of me. How did I ever get in there before? It might be that something I did like closed off permanently later. Because if I go this way, there's no way to go up from here. He also, he had like a sister Freya. Is she maybe down and right? Let's, let me go look for that. Okay, I don't know that we made a ton of concrete progress today, but I feel like I'm starting to understand the game in general a little bit better. Uh, and we definitely, we did uh, unlock a few minor secrets and progress a few things in terms of Mulbrek and getting some more text messages and different things. So I feel pretty good about what we managed to accomplish. So I think, actually no, something just appeared to me on this map that I'd never noticed before, which is uh, I can go down and right to exit, but I can also go up and right and there's like a down exit. I know I've walked up here before, once before. But what is the down exit that it's talking about over here? I don't remember. Oh, there's a ladder down. But I don't have the ability to get up there. Don't knock or climb on the statue. New message. Okay. He's probably just going to tell me not to climb on the statue. But... <laughs> hey now. Leave my statue alone. Right. Uh, but that's definitely a clue that we need to climb on the statue, and maybe I'm going to get like a double jump something 
at some point that's going to allow us to climb higher here. So let me make a note uh, that I need to climb the statue eventually. Okay, so as I was saying, uh, I think I made a little bit of progress. I'm feeling better about things for now. Uh, so I will say, I hope as always, that you guys are having a great day. And that I will see you again soon for more La Mulana 2. Where apparently, going back to save file 1 at the end of the episode, I'm 26 hours into this game. And I think this might be like episode 26 or 27. So I guess it's spending me, taking me about an hour for each episode to record. I think they probably averaged a little over a half an hour. So that's not bad. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys are having a great day. See you again soon. Bye-bye.